Hey everyone, today we are doing a cool Chloe's Toy Time. Chloe doesn't even know what we're doing on Chloe's Toy Time. Are you ready to see what we've got? Boom! We have... This is called the MC Squared. I'm going to move it this way so Chloe can get a peek at it. It's called the Project MC Squared. It's the Ultimate Lab Kit. It's got an experiment booklet included. It has 30 whole pieces, and it even includes a real working microscope. What do you think, Chloe? Yeah. It says that we can make, create a rainbow in a jar. We can make glittery slime. I want to make glittery slime. Okay, it says you can make your own bubble blower, custom dye, real flowers and investigate using the microscope and more. Chloe says she wants to make the glittery slime, so we're going to have to see if we have all the ingredients to do that. So we're going to open this up and get started on our project. Yay! All right, so here is here is everything. We're going to show you a quick glimpse of what comes with our very neat ultimate lab kit. So I'm going to tell you we have this little um, microscope. Chloe's going to be showing you some stuff too. This is the jar for the slime. It might be the jar for the slime. Here's the little potion bottles. Potion bottles, and yeah. And then there's one little cat thing for the put in. A funnel. And a funnel. And then there's also ring for the little stuff. And it says MC square. This one here has um, some dividers on it and measuring. And these are some test tubes, and we wanted to show you that we've got a the little working microscope, and it's uh, four times the power, normal power, and you have to have special batteries. I can't tell you what they are, but they look like really small watch batteries. I'll have to check because it really didn't say anything about it on the outside of the box. So I, I, just, even have a watch. So I was lucky that we, yeah, she got a new frozen watch today. So yeah. So let's open up the lab. Oh, I'm She's going to show you her light up. Woohoo! And it's Elsa. She's got on Elsa today. So you, um, it looks like you pull this down. You unzip it to get in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. I'll try to swing it so Chloe can see here. And I'll move the camera so she can take a peek as we're seeing. Those are our lab glasses. Can you get them out of that plastic bag? Mm -mm, just one. That's right. It fits your face. So while Chloe's getting this, we've got a little bag in here that has, it looks looks like a Petri dish. And then here's our experiment book. I know, this tape is really strong tape. Ah, okay. Let's scoot that over to Chloe for a second. Sorry, that was really... Oh, wait. There's already a chance to fit it, but it's crazy. Okay. So here's a little um, drip, like a little drip tube. Oh, I think it's probably a real name for that. That's inside this bag. Our little um, baby Petri dish for collecting samples. Here is our slides for our microscope. They are taped up really good too. Put my okay, scissors away too. Open. All right, mommy get it for you, girl. Hang it over, hand it over. Here, a little hole right here. Oh, this is a case. Is this a case for It's called a petri dish. You put wow. specimens in there. So here's Chloe's little lab glasses. Um, it's got the little sides that swing out to keep stuff from getting in, to keep it from getting in her eyes as we experiment. So when we are messing with certain liquids, she might have to put those on her little face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you goofy girl. I <laughs> hate and here's our little strips, and then the chart will tell you what pH, I'm guessing, um, some of the, the experiments, what the pH level. And then here is the different experiment book that came with it, and, and it tells you everything. Slime. Yeah, so Chloe wants... Slime glitter. Yeah, we're going to look here. She wants glitter slime, which, which happens to be on page 12. I don't know that we have everything in here today. So what we might have to do is see what we do have. 
Chloe and make something we have today. But you know what we could do on Chloe's toy time is maybe um, for a little short Chloe's toy time each mm -hmm. once a week we will do one of these experiments in here and I will make sure that we have the, the right ingredients. So today we wanted to go through the kit. So yeah, as Chloe, Chloe's doing here, you can see inside there's this little pocket where you can keep your book. The, here is for the little book. I'm guessing this is for the round two, but I don't know because there's one over there as well. It could be for these. Whoa. You're so silly. Uh, let's see. More than likely. Maybe. And like the scope will go in there. I don't know that our jar can fit in here. Maybe in there. Play inside the little slime. And then make it in. Yeah, sadly enough, Shug, I don't think I have. You don't think you have something, have something, have something? Yeah, I don't think I have the, um, the ingredients for the slime today. What ingredients? Well, that's the, that's the good question. So there must be... The book for the ingredients. The book is in right Okay, so here's a good thing. So here are some stickers, which I just found inside the instruction yeah. instruction book. Yeah, uh -huh. well, can you hold them up? Because we're trying to show Chloe's playing with. Sorry if there's purple lines that come through here. It is the like chandelier. It. Um, it's a chandelier thrown reflection. So there's one page of stickers that was in there. And here is the contents, um, the contents page. And uh, when you open it, Chloe's getting a kick out of it. I won't get that. Okay, so here's the batteries. It says you're going to need three 1.5 volt, three 1.5 volt um, batteries. And luckily, we had that because her dad is so good about keeping every kind of battery in the world. And then another good thing that this includes, it says items you'll need. Chloe, very good stickers. Yeah, Chloe's holding them up. It gives you items you will need, and they're not included, of course, but there's a list for all your different experiments. So there's 36 things. A lot of them you're probably going to have at home. But there's some, like uh, liquid starch. We need that for the slime. I don't have that. Liquid starch? Yeah. What's a liquid starch? Liquid starch. It's a good thing. Evervescent tablets. That must be. A, you know, I know what that is. What is that? Do we have it? We might have something that we can do. So we're going to um, look through the book and see what ingredients we have to do one of the experiments. We're going to do one experiment a week using our MC Project MC Squared Ultimate Lab Kit on Chloe's Toy Time. Okay. So we went through the um, lab kit, the, comp the book, that gave us all the different experiments we could try. And yeah. the and the very first two we're going to do today, they're pretty simple. One is crazy color milk experiment. We're going to take some milk, the Petri dish, food coloring, dishwashing soap, and a cotton swab. We're going to create like a rainbow in the Petri dish. And then we're also going to do this water magnifier, since all we need is water and like a magazine to do it. And it's going to, we're going to see how water can magnify letters for us through the Petri dish. So this will be our first Chloe's Toy Time doing our first experiments with the Project MC Squared Lab Kit. So let's uh, get going here. Chloe wants to Chloe wants to be my assistant. She's going to be doing most of the work for us, actually. So I've got our little Petri dish. She took the lid off. All right, Miss Chloe, let's read this. Okay. Fill the Petri dish with milk. Be very careful pouring that in. Turn it the other way. There you go, towards you. That's good, right there. No more. Perfect. Very good. You did it without spilling a drop. Very good. Add one drop of each color, food coloring, all over milk in the Petri dish. So we have gel food colors. I hope it works is just as, just as good. Drop. One little tiny drop. Can you do it? Yes. I'm going to get the lids off because these might be pretty dry. Just one little squeeze, baby. Tiny drop. Good. See, that's not really... I wonder if this will do it or not. 
He just fixed it and made the other come up. This might be a failed experiment because I... Oh, that's... Kinda... That's all right. Don't put them on top of each other. We'll try not to. That blue is pretty. That's good, Chloe. And then I think our last one is what, red? We used this for Play-Doh, didn't we? A long time ago we made Play-Doh. All right, give us some red in there. Mommy's going to get the... Let's get the, it says to get some dish soap. That and right then here. we mix it? I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to go. It says we're going to add one drop of food color, coloring all over milk in the Petri dish. Try touching the milk with the cotton swab. Touch the I milk with... It. That's okay. Touch the milk with this cotton swab. Just touch it and see what happens. Not on the color. Just touch it. Anything happen? Nope. Okay. It causes the color to disperse a little bit. And it says, now using your pipette, which I'm pretty sure is this little thing, says add one drop of liquid dish soap. Let me put some dish soap in this little cup. All right, so you gotta, oh, there's bubbles flying. So here's some dish soap. Take your little squeezer, baby. You gotta squeeze and then stick it down in the solution. Okay, one drop of soap. Touch it into the milk, maybe. Okay, let's see. That's good. Chloe, that's good. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now what happened? Did anything happen? Oh, it's still a little bubble. Watch what happens. Add another, I think it must be our food coloring. Let me try. Mm -hmm. Anything? Nothing. Maybe three dots? Hmm. Let's do it. Let's add one. Who didn't have the bonnet on? Mmm. I don't know that this is what was supposed to happen that looks gross yeah all right i no i okay so this was a chloe's toy time fail i don't think it's a fail on the part of the kit i think that we had gel food colors gel instead of liquid it didn't say it had to be if you look here i think what happens is the colors they don't blend they just swirl and the soap will cause them to swirl and that didn't happen for us. So, what? notes, there's a little note thing right here in the book. Very first page, notes. We're going to make a note. Do not use gel food coloring, must use liquid <laughs> for experiment page one. So, Mommy's going to take this wonderful milky mess. Can I have that? I'm going to dump this out and give it a rinse, and then we're going to try to use the water as a magnifier experiment that's on page two. Okay. Okay, so I've got, I got the, the pipette rinsed out, so there's no more soap in there from our first it's experiment. It's just water. It's just water. And here is a dried Petri dish. All dried and cleaned out from our milk catastrophe. Because <laughs> we didn't have liquid food coloring. It says all we need to do for this cool experiment is using a pipette, place a drop of water, one little drop, clo clo, in the middle of the petri dish, right? Dead smack, one, one little tiny drop. Okay, perfect. It says, um, lay your printed paper flat on the table and slide the petri dish over it. got this little tiny booklet from one of Chloe's little um, recent projects. You can see how little that writing is. So we're going to slip this under the Petri dish very carefully. Why? Because we're going to see if this water truly magnifies the words. See how it makes them bigger? Sit up and look over it. Can you see over it? Yes. Can you see that the letters are bigger? If you hold it up, it magnifies the letters. 
I'm going to hold it up for the camera. I'm going to try not to spill the water. So if you if you slide it over, it makes it a little bit bigger. I'm going to try to shoot the camera without making our water slide too crazily. Maybe if I just push it right down on the push it right down, I'm going to move this camera the best I can to give you a view. Um, just laying it directly on top. It doesn't make it any bigger. Our water's pouring. I don't know if you can, it's too hard to. If you hold it up a little bit, it does. All right, so let me, let me try to add some more. Where's our little squeezer, babe? Right here. Can I see it? Can I do it? Can I have two drops of it? Uh, yeah, hang on a second. So, the drops, I think we put, it has to really just be truly a drop. I'm going to dry it and, and drop it down again. Can I try? One little tiny drop. One little baby drop. Okay. Can we see down in the drop? There's a bubble in it. So, it makes the letter, you guys probably can't see it, and I'm trying to, this is a hard one to hold up because if I hold it up, then our paper's going to, our, our drop's going to. Now, I will tell you this. If you, if you have the drop in there and you hold the Petri dish a little bit above it, the words are definitely magnified. If you add more than a drop, the water just tends to run and it doesn't make that big of a difference. Then it's just, unless you hold it up. But the moment the water starts to run, it, quit mag it stops magnifying the letter. So that was a success. So yes, you could use water as a magnifier in a clear plastic dish or maybe even glass. Wanna give it another try? Do the words look bigger to you through the through the, the drop of water? So would you give this a thumbs up experiment? Two thumbs up experiment. <laughs> and I guarantee you the milk one when we do it again is definitely going to be a two thumbs up experiment. We just need to get real liquid food coloring instead of gel. Is it over? It will be. So do we just try her? Not for these experiments, but for our next ones, we probably will once we get the right ingredients. So we'll see you guys on Chloe's Toy Time in about a week from now. We will have some, some ingredients to do. Let's see what's let's see what's on page two and three. Chloe wants to really do the glittery slime. So I'll tell you what, next week when we do our experiment with our kit, we're going to do blow up a balloon using gases created in our our, our little test tubes, and we're going to do the glittery slime, okay? Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah, all right. So everybody, we'll see you next time on Chloe's Toy Time. We hope you had a good time with us today. We sure had fun. We love this kit. It's actually very sturdy. I'm going to give you another glimpse of it here. It is a pretty sturdy little kit. I'm, I'm thinking that everything will fit in here and, and close right shut and lock. So I'm loving it. I am really loving our kit. This is great. So we'll see you next time on Chloe's Toy Time. Say bye, Chloe. Be sure to bye. like and subscribe.